What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pins ND. My name is Carrie and today I am going to talk about a Patreon requested video. Uh, I shouted out over to my uh, Patreon crew what kind of videos they'd like to see and this idea was one of them because I believe I mentioned it uh, a while back now that for the first time in my entire life I am now able to take pens with me to an office because it's the first time in my entire life I've ever had an office job where I could do that. Um, and thus far, I have only ever had the desire to take three types of pens with me. So I'm gonna talk about them today. The first one I'm gonna mention, uh, I have always taken with me, never once have I not, and that is the Lamy 2000 fountain pen. Uh, so at some point I had three Lamy 2000s. I have since sold the blue and the brown one because I never actually used them because I always just used this one. This is the original Lamy 2000 in the black Macrolon with the gold medium nib that I purchased with it. I have not switched it out of any kind. I actually bought this one from Wonder Pens in Toronto. It was the first time I really bought like an expensive pen uh, from a retailer where I was like kind of unsure whether or not I'd actually like it uh, because the whole like sweet spot thing that people kept talking about really scared me. I've since made many many videos on that where I don't really think it's a concern but I digress, uh, I absolutely adore this pen. Uh, it's very, very sleek, I love the way that it feels, it's nice and light, you can post it if you want to, I just don't. Very smooth, very wet, and I absolutely adore it. Right now I have KWZ It Smells Like Coffee in here, because uh, a nice viewer sent it to me. Oh, and it smells so good, I will be picking up a full bottle of this. Um, I don't have an office where I have to be um, following a dress code. You can pretty much wear whatever you want. I mean, within reasons. I'm not going to like, you know, walk in in, in a two-piece bathing suit. <laughs> not that I would anyways, but you know what I mean. Um, but I like to have this on hand uh, for when people do come to the office that are outside, um, like, salespeople, I guess. I don't know how you want to call it, but that don't work with me day to day. This is the pen that I like to use. This is obviously a, a more expensive pen, but I like to have inexpensive pens with me uh, because it is inevitable that I am the only one that likes fountain pens and other people may or may not want to try it. Uh, so I have switched between two pens. Uh, primarily, I have only ever brought the Pilot Metropolitan. Um, this is their like silvery retro pop one. Uh, which is nice because it has like a snap cap. This one has a medium nib on it. Uh, and I have switched out the Con 20 that it came with, which is like the little squeezy one with the Con 50, just because I like it a little bit better. Um, I like this one because again, it writes like a dream. I do have full many reviews on this. Um, writes like a dream. You can post it, not post it. Uh, fairly light as well, but actually slightly heavier than the Lamy 2000. Um, just because it does have a bit of metal parts to it. But primarily, I'm not afraid of other people using this pen. And I say I've switched it only because I have actually cleaned this one out and I've inked up now instead the Twisby Diamond 580 ALR. Uh, if you want to know why, check out my last video that I just did on Friday uh, and you'll know why I have inked this up. So I have sort of combined now the Pilot and the Twisby for the pen that I would bring in case other people want to try uh, because I'm not afraid of these breaking either. Uh, this one has a fine nib on it and is currently inked up with Ferris Wheel Press Storied Blue, uh, which I really like. It, that was an ink that surprised me. I thought it was gonna be way undersaturated, but it's actually really nice and shades beautifully. Uh, if you wanna see some images of it, head over to my Instagram because I've posted some photos there uh, and we're having a good conversation. Um, and all of these, by the way, even the next one I'm gonna mention, uh, are all really great, reliable writers. And that's primarily the function that I wanted to have uh, was something that I never have to worry whether it's gonna hard start or skip or anything like that. Like it just works all the time. It's magnificent. 
And then because I don't work in a traditional office, <laughs> Uh, well, it's a traditional office. It's just there's no dress code. Um, I do bring out a little bit of a flash from time to time because all of these are pretty understated. I mean, some offices may find this one's not, but certainly these two are. Um, if you're in a very, very like staunchy, like if you're in, you know, like a lawyer's office or something and you need to be like super duper professional, the Lamy 2000 is your way to go. Like you, you cannot beat this for professional uh, writing pens in my mind, um, but because I can bring out some flash, uh, I have switched to also the Bennu Euphoria. Now, this is the one that I had brought pretty much all up until now. This is the original Bennu pen that I had, which is the bourbon finish. It has a fine nib and smells like KWZ honey, because that's the only ink I ever really put in here. Uh, and it is absolutely beautiful, but I'm going to make the switch now. I have not yet. Uh, so it's not inked up yet. You're gonna see in my next video, because I'm filming these back to back, um, that in my, I, I received something. I got something and I'm very excited about it. But I'm going to be an annoying YouTuber and make you wait. But drop a comment in the comment section down below if you can guess what it is. I bet you, you won't, but you never know, you could. <laughs> if somebody does guess it correctly, I'll pin the comment to the top. Uh, but I'm going to be switching to the Bennu Euphoria Pomegranate, um, or is it Pomegranate? Pom yeah, Pomegranate. Um, this one has a medium nib, but I can't really tell you why I'm switching. <gasps> Cause it's gonna tell you why. But this is the one that I was bringing. Um, because I like it, because it's really big, it's kind of flashy, uh, it's a conversation starter for sure, uh, very, very comfortable, one of my favorite Bennu pens, um, and I just love it. Is there really any other reason I need other than I just love it? <laughs> so for the most part, these are really it. This was, this was my main trio uh, that I keep in this right here. This is a three pen sleeve. Um, I also have a Bennu Briolette in here, but I've never actually brought this one to the office. Um, this was purchased from Goulet Pens, uh, designed from um, Drew Brown. This side is my favorite. Uh, it's like their retro 80s theme, uh, but of course is from or made from Rickshaw Pens. But you can only get this actual design from Goulet Pens. Uh, but of course, there's like a bunch of them. Um, I've done a full review of this. So if you want to see that, you can. Uh, I'll put the Twisby in it. It'll be a little easier to see. But basically, you just slot them all in. They fit really nicely. Covers it up. You can put it in a pocket, put it in a bag, whatever you want. Uh, and then you're good to go. So... I don't really like travel, travel too much with them. I usually just bring them, leave them there for a while and then bring them home when they need to be swapped out for ink. Uh, I have never brought ink or anything like that to the office, but that is what I've basically brought. So the Lamy 2000, the Pilot and or more recently the Twisby and then the Bennu Euphoria. Um, let me know in the comments section down below if you work in an office, what pens you bring. If you don't work in an office, what pens do you think you would want to bring if you did? Uh, let me know in the comments section down below if you've used any of these pens, what you think of them, and if you can guess what is coming up that I'm so excited about. <sighs> I have to like temper my expectations because they're very high because I have not tried yet, but I'm going to try and I'm going to try it first live on camera. But if you've watched almost 10 minutes in, hit that like button, hit the subscribe if you want to see more videos every Monday and Friday and the occasional rando on Tuesday. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.